So, yep, we sold some uh, sold some twelve dollar corn today. Don't worry about how it happened. Morning, dumping trucks. Lots of trucks to dump. So we're going to continue on beans. It's pretty. It was pretty foggy this morning. We got a decent amount of dew. So it'll probably be noon again, unfortunately. Um, I, I would say at the earliest. But we live in a river valley. It's just it's foggy basically every morning. So real good bean weather. Not really. It's also real good corn disease weather. Is your leg still set? It is. I was fairly confident, but I always check every morning. You never know. Uh, when someone transferred grain or something and just forgot to put it back, always check. Fire up the other trucks, let them warm up a little bit. I think Brother BJ is heading down to mow off some grass where we're going to load trucks today. And uh, Dad is spreading some wheat. So I think BJ is probably going to be a turbo tilling man for a little bit today after he gets to be done being a bush hogging man. I uh, know this truck needs fuel. I need to check the other truck. The Thunder Creek has off road fuel. We run road fuel in the semis because, well, it's illegal to run off road fuel in them. Maybe one of these days we'll hook the wheeler back up to a semi. We've got an empty semi. We just haven't hooked it up yet. I'd say when we get back to corn, that'll definitely happen, but sometime in there we gotta move a bulldozer. Funny looking combine. Yeah, time to make a pot of coffee. We can put this one back here for a while. So we got the good stuff. Trucks are dumped. Time to start taking trucks to the field and fueling trucks. So that's where we're at. around these power line construction crews and it looks like this year we are too. Hopefully they're about done. Like for example that wooden plank that's halfway in our road would probably pop a loaded semi tire. That's annoying. Now we gotta go get a loader to move it. Wonderful. And the Uber driver's here. Hello. Must be a good tipper. Get that guy. Oh, you got you're picking on me, Lammy. Happy funny. Picking on me. I just talk like Dax. Oh, good God. We can't understand him, but by God, we can see him today. Not for sure. That's a shirt you should have had on yesterday when we was backing the semis up in the road. That dark. Yeah, Dad thinks the cat is a human. Fed him rice. Jackets! Alright, 
And in the combine we go. BJ's going down to grab the, the draper head now. Dad just fueled his combine. It's already, well he's still got to move too, but he's closer to the field we're going to. So we need to get moving. Oh no. We left the monitor on. I hope this thing starts. Maybe we'll get lucky. This could suck though. Ladder. I hate moving on this road. Steep ditch on each side, lots of mailboxes. Gotta put you down. Okay, not too wet. We gotta still move Dad's combine in the grain cart, so uh, we're gonna shut her down and go move those devices. pads down. That's off the right of way, fellas. Hmm. There were beans there at one time. Just a massive bean crop under these pine trees. Massive numbers. Yeah, nothing in the shade. Different field, same scenery. Did have a bit of excitement. Our grain marketer popped in with us. So we all got Snickers and Pepsi for dinner. It's like a dust storm in here. We're just getting the inside dust. It'll help a little. still see my planting tracks and the slits that didn't close up or it drowned it out. I don't know if BJ's gonna make it in time. He's close to getting bean corn or er, cab beans. Cab beans, there we go. He's pretty full. Oh well he made it just in the nick of time. Somewhere in that dust. So we have 13 acres right there. That's all the beans we have over here. We've got like 20 yards of corn we've got to go through. So that's just going to combine it. This should be interesting. It's not every day you, uh, you see a draper head doing corn. So I've got about five acres left in this field I'm going to finish up. Dad's moving. On the other side of that grove of trees there we have a 15 acre field. He's going to go over and do it. He just left this field. And then we'll be done here. And then I think we're moving back to the hoop barn. I could be wrong, but we have about 120 acres of beans right around the hoop barn that I think we're going to do tomorrow. Like I said, I'm probably wrong, but I think that's where we're going tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, we are in amongst the subdivision. Going to get a little dusty in the subdivision tonight. I can see Dad right over there. There he is. Big Mike to the rescue again today. Couldn't done it without it. But we are, I'm going to unhook the gleaner. I gotta dump this on here and then by the time I get this combine unhooked, Dad will probably be done with that field he's in, so uh, we'll have knocked out 130 acres in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields. So not bad. Ladder. 
power ladder. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Views and we'll see you in the next one.